Hey everyone and welcome to the Dice Towers Gen Con 2021 preview, or not preview, uh, what do you call it, uh, blog, vlog, vlog, vlog. So anyway, I'm here at the hotel that we're staying at. There's some people down, some nerds all the way down there gaming, and I would actually join them, but I'm exhausted because we just finished setting up the booth. Uh, I'll have some video of that and whatnot. Uh, we are across the street, boom, from the uh, Indianapolis Capitol building, which is a beautiful little piece of architect, but anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and do a day by day, kind of showcase some of the stuff that goes in behind the scenes, working the convention booth and just what the convention has to offer and stuff. So uh, Roy and I primarily will be videotaping some stuff and showcasing it all for your fun. I'm going to try to stop moving so you don't get motion sick. And here we go. All right, we're here setting up Gen Con booth Hello. here. This is Corey. Long, long time friend. I met him okay. five <laughs> days ago, I think. So, yeah, one of my best buds. Absolutely. So, we're here setting up the floors in the uh, non air conditioned area, the exhibitor hall of Gen Con. It's starting to happen. Let's see where it goes from here. Yep. Just, uh, just the math of the masses. Here, why don't you use this one? Got more junk. The assembly continues. This is going to be our sign once it's finished up. A big draping okay. sign. Let us stand this thing up first. Don't you put it on? Laying down. Okay. Here's the unveiling. Okay. We'll have to tilt a little bit. Okay. I got here. See? Got it over there. Once again, for the use of my height. Woo! That's a fine looking sign if I've ever seen one before. Okay, we're gonna start. Second only to this one already. Look at that one. Gorgeous. I don't know. I would die for that guy. I would too. When Tom was selling me on this job, he understood how glamorous the life of a box holder was. This is this is the most exciting thing that I have done. And you're right. In I was gonna say weeks, but I think Roy's got a good point there. Look at Roy, master builder. Gotta make it happen. Yeah. Roy's got it. Mike is struggling with it. Z figured it out. All right. I've got this down pretty dang great. Look at this. This is a lot of ing. He's something. A lot of ing. Bada boo. Oh, you didn't get to see how cool that was. Let me read it. Bada bing. Bada boom. Come on. Come on, Chris. Back to work. Good enough. Box. Here we see the manual dexterity of one Michael Delicio, fan of the Dolphins of Miami. Hello, Christopher. Assembling a tower for tumbling down dice. That's the idea, Chris. Uh, sometimes the best laid plans. Look at this. Boom, look at that. That's how that works. Ooh, That's show it up for us. Give us a nice 360. Give us a spin. Well, I'm not done yet, Chris, but it's working on it. This Whoa. is a partial dice tower. Got now, it. Do you want to see it when it's finished? Hold on. we got to do this. Whoa, time lapse. we got to do this, Chris. <laughs> got to do that. And then lastly, look at this. This is a very satisfying part here. Look at this. This does this. This does this. This, maybe, does this. No and pressure, Mike. That. And then watch. We're going to do a little slide. A bada bing. There you go. There's a your completed tower. dice tower. All right, we got Pan Pan. We got Nacho. We got dice. We got promos of every kind and imagination and idea that you could possibly imagine and ideate in your mind. Booth is looking pretty good. I think we're just about wrapped up for Tuesday's setup here. Not a lot more to do on Wednesday, but a few things to tidy up. These are all promos. Mountains and mountains of promos underneath here. So, uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, more vlogging soon, but this has been Setup Day Tuesday. Things are looking great. Really love this new sign that we got with, uh, yeah, the, the big new Kickstarter image. That looks great. So now it's Wednesday morning, we're finishing up. Most of the booth was assembled really well yesterday, really well yesterday. And so now what we've got, we're pricing out promos, we're getting a lot of the last minute kind of stuff set up. So yeah, this is, uh, it's coming together really well. It's still in the morning and we've got like 95% of the booth done. So we're making good, uh, we're making really good headway. Here we can see the wild sign being hung, hung up by the ceiling. This interesting giraffe-like creature is called a cherry picker. We can see... This is a video, Roy. This is a video. 
Hold yeah, it. smile, Roy. Hold smile. It. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying about the sign that's being hung up, you can see there's a lot of companies here kind of just getting set up as well. This is my first time attending Gen Con, so some of this is very impressive to me. I don't want to complain about a good thing. Being here at Gen Con has been amazing so far, uh, but yikes, walking up and down the halls, like the many, many halls of this exhibitor area to and from the hotel. This is like my fifth time. My legs are gonna fall off. Like I said, not complaining about a good thing, but it's bad when you're super sore and the convention hasn't even started yet. So, we've got, uh, so when you're selling this many promos, it takes a bit of effort on the front end to kind of program out all the prices and stuff for it. But one of the cool things that we're doing this year is on top of selling our own promos here, we're selling with uh, through Board Game Geek, we're selling a lot of the geek up bits and everything. And so, uh, yeah, over at our booth, we've got a plethora of promos. Is Kenny with us? Just walking the town, this is a monument built right in the very, very center. Take two, just walking the town, this is here. Uh, the very large monument built right in the middle right, of Indianapolis, this very central point. And we're just walking around, hitting up some shops and stuff. So as part of the pre-festivities, uh, Moonshot Games down here, uh, Moonshot Games down in downtown Indianapolis area is having a little event. And so uh, pre, pre Gen Con event. So this is some of their game selection you can see right over there. They got a lot of classics, but the most important thing that they have here at Moonshot Games is this, the Jelly Belly Mega Machine. If I had infinity dollars, I would have a lot of jelly beans. A lot of jelly beans. So one of the cool things about Moonshot is they have like a full, full good menu of uh, pizzas and foods and stuff. They also have a lot of drinks on tap and stuff. They have root beer and orange cream soda floats, which makes Mike Galicio very happy and we all tried one and regretfully, he was right. Well, that's a wrap for another day. Just kind of wound down over down in the little bar area playing that um, shuffleboard game. And it was a fun just little way to kind of relax after that moonshot party. And so there we go. That is the end of the day one or day one and two pre-show kind of behind the scenes look. So tomorrow we're going to be posting up a video where you're going to see a little bit more about running the booth and walking through Gen Con and everything. So stick around for that next vlog. We'll see ya. Yeah.